in one of my latest videos called how a 43% increase in up and down movement can cost less energy when running. That was the title of the video I made. That video included a bit on how the stretch shortening cycle can help you and how it is affected uh, by how much you move up and down. The whole thing with the up and down movement and the stretch shortening cycle and the whole idea that you can actually save energy by not trying to minimize the upwards moments is a bit complicated to understand. And that's something I also have noticed in the comment section. But there are more aspects to this up and down movement that I noticed that many runners don't think about. Let's go back to the same sentence that I mentioned in the video about how a 43% increase of up and down movement can cost less energy when running. And that I heard so many times before. You're supposed to move forward, not up when running. As I also say in that video, forward not up is meant to suggest that all vertical movements when running is always bad and that you should try to minimize it. But that is not the case, of course. So to make myself clear, here is another reason why you shouldn't try to minimize the up and down movement. No, too much movement up is of course not good. But just follow along now. So now let's pretend that you are a cannon. And you don't have that much gunpowder. When you run, your center of mass will move in an arc forward. Boom, boom. It is physically impossible to try to make the center of mass move forward completely horizontally. Are you with me so far? Good. If not, go back to school and take the course about Newton and gravity one more time, please. Now, think of a cannon of the old type used on pirate ships. The kind that used gunpowder to fire cannonballs. The gun barrel can be pointed at different angles. Up and down, so it can shoot really straight up or down into the ground right in front of it. Each cannonball is fired with exactly the same force. The exact same amount of gunpowder is used every time. The distance you have to fire your cannonball is longer than the cannon can cover with one single shot. Say you have to cover 42.2 kilometers, 26 miles and 385 yards, and then you have to fire several times. But you don't have an infinite amount of gunpowder. You therefore want the cannonball to travel as far as possible with each shot. So how should you aim your cannon? Well, there is going to be an optimal angle where you should aim that will make the cannonball go as far as possible with the specified amount of gunpowder. If you aim the cannon too high, the cannonball will mostly go just straight up and go straight down and will not go very far. And if you aim the cannon down or exactly straight ahead, the same thing will happen. The cannonball will not travel as far as the optimal angle, which is diagonally upwards forward. And when the cannonball don't fly that far because it's aimed too high or too low, you have to use more gunpowder more energy to make the cannonball travel the same distance as the perfect angle did with just one shot. If we now transfer this to running, it means that if you have directed the cannon barrel too much upwards, which is quite common because people move too much upwards and downwards, you move in an excessively steep arc upwards, which means that you don't go as far at each push off and you have to fill up with more steps, more energy. But it will also be bad if you move too little up and down. When you have your cannon pointed straight ahead, you burn the same amount of energy, same amount of gunpowder as the optimal angle, but don't get as far. And you want to get to the finish line by using as little gunpowder as possible. 
But let's make it a bit more complicated. If two people who weigh the same and run at the same pace and move at exactly the same amount up and down, it is easy to think that their vertical movement costs the same amount of energy. But that's not necessarily the case. When I make measurements with my 3D cameras, I can sometimes see that runners spend a disproportional amount of energy fighting the gravity, even if they don't move up and down very much. This may be because they have set their gun barrel at a too steep an angle upwards, like this. Both cannonballs move exactly the same amount upwards. But since one of them has a too steep angle upwards, the cannonball, and that is the runner of course, will land earlier than the one with the best angle. So you can't only look at how much a runner moves up and down, this is only about up but you get the point, but also their angle of their movement. There are several reasons why runners get too steep angles. In my experience, the two most common reasons are one, that they are too still in the hip and mostly just stump the force into the ground and coming up, instead of bringing the force forward with a more dynamical hip movement. And secondly, those who are a little bit too upright in their body or even leans a little bit backwards. And if you're a pacifist, you can ignore the canon analogy and think of yourself as a golfer trying to reach the green in one shot. Now, I'm not a golfer, but I find it hard to believe that any person playing golf has ever stood with the driver at tee and thought, hmm, if I hit the ball so it moves exactly horizontal, as close to the ground as possible, it, I won't waste energy upwards and the ball will therefore get as far as possible. But if they want to do a long shot the same energy takes the ball longer, they need the optimal angle. Not up, not straight forward, not down. And you don't throw a ball or a discus straight forward if you want to throw as far as possible. But when it comes to running, there is a way of thinking that many people have. That up is always bad, even if you have to take more steps that cost exactly as much energy as the optimal ones. And now you could object that when you run, the mission isn't to take as long steps as possible. No, but if the same energy costs this, you get this far with this much energy, or this far and then you have to waste more energy, it will cost you more energy to go the same distance if the cannon barrel is facing too much up or down or forward you need the optimal angle. So you take home a message this time is well exactly the same thing as I have said so many times but judging by some of the comments it's hard to grasp. While it's obviously not good to move too much up and down when running it's probably not optimal to try to minimize the up and down movement. As your cannonball, your golf ball, your body will land too early, so you have to spend more energy than at the optimal angle. I hope this video has given you an insight into the expression, well you should be moving forward not up when you run, and that that approach would be something that you could apply to your running to save energy and be efficient. Debunking myths about running in general and running technique in particular, and trying to add some nuance to often polarized debates about what's right or wrong, and that is the whole point of my videos. If you like the video and want to see more of this kinds of content, I hope you can click like and subscribe to my channel. The more videos you watch and the more subscribers I get, the more videos I can make. See you in the next video!